One of the biggest rail signaling improvement projects in the world is taking place right here in Singapore. And trials are almost complete with operator SMRT saying that results have been promising. After this, testing will begin on Singapore's oldest rail lines, the north-south and east-west lines. In our Spotlight segment this week, Saiful Bar Ismail looks at the challenges involved and what the changes will ultimately mean for commuters. Singapore's rail network is growing. By 2030, the length of the network is expected to increase to 360 kilometers, comparable to the rail density in London. As new lines are built, older ones are being improved. The north, south and east-west lines will have an upgraded signaling system costing $195 million in the next few years. The signaling system is a very key system in the railway and its main function is to control and govern safe train operations. All right. Unlike uh, older generations of signaling systems where it relies on uh, track section for train monitoring and control purposes, um, the new system makes use of uh, real-time information uh, on the location and speed of uh, every train in the system. The current system is close to 30 years old and has been in use since Singapore's rail system started operations in 1987. It uses a fixed block system separating trains in fixed distances. One block or track section is at least 150 meters. How far the block separation is depends on conditions like the speed of the train. The enhanced rail signaling uses a moving block system, also called communications-based train control. The new system can reduce the distance to a minimum of 50 meters. This is possible as the technology can determine the location and speed of the train at any time, thereby allowing trains to run closer to each other. Transponders or sensors on the track detect the train as it moves, providing data such as location and speed. This information is passed through computer systems in the train, which is then transmitted via radio antenna to the control station where the network of trains are being monitored. The company handling the re-signaling project is Tala Solution Asia. What our system does is to be able to uh, through communi uh, uh, continuous communication between the train and the system, you know where it is at any point on the line and according to the, the, the train capabilities, the speed and the position, you can regulate how fast the train should go um, so that there is always a safe stopping distance between a train in front or the train after. Theoretically, the system can allow very close separation, depending on its uh, speed, of course, and the topology of the line. Um, Talus has achieved systems down to 60 seconds headway. With trains being able to travel closer to each other, and yet still in a safe manner, train capacity can be increased by 20%, translating into improved frequency. In Singapore, commuters can expect trains to arrive at intervals of 100 seconds as compared with 120 seconds under the old signalling system. This translates into shorter waiting times with six trains instead of five arriving every 10 minutes. The new signalling system requires upgrading of stations, operations and control centres, tracks and trains. Upgrading of trains to the new signalling system is being done here at Bishan Depot. It usually takes between one to two months for works to be completed on one train. Three to five trains are upgraded at the same time. Work started in March this year and so far, ten trains have already been upgraded. The upgrading includes installing hardware components inside the train. Enhancements are also being done in the driver's compartment. Train drivers have been trained to operate at the new signalling system. For example, the control panels have been improved. The old signalling system uses an analog speedometer and the new system uses a digital touchscreen with a lot more information captured on it. On the north-south line, about 50% of installation works have been completed on the tracks. This includes the installation of radio antennas and transponders. 
These installers work under challenging conditions. Every night it's a race against time. They have about three hours to complete their task before the start of revenue service. It has been about two years since the start of the re-signaling project. Works are on schedule and the new system is expected to be ready for passenger operations on the north-south line in 2016 and for the east-west line in 2018. I think the time frame is, is challenging. Certainly there can be um, areas where we could look at improving. Today the project is on schedule. In Singapore, as you know, there are also a lot of upgrading works going on on the existing track, like the resleepering program. And we're managing to, uh, to find uh, good ways to, to cooperate through the coordination of LTA on those different projects. However, the two-year gap between the completion times of the north, south and east-west lines means that some platform congestion could be expected. Say, for example, the, uh, the passengers will keep arriving to the platform uh, from the north-south line, say, for example, to the Jurong East the MRT station. However, at the same time, if our east-west line the, uh, still use the old system uh, during this transition period, so which means the arrival rate and the passenger departure rate won't be able to be synchronized, then there's a potential danger uh, to have the overcrowding phenomenon on the platform congestions. This year, SMRT was hit by several incidents of faulty signaling on the north-south line, leading to significant slowdowns of trains. SMRT has said the signaling system upgrade will address many of the incidents it faces today. We hope that this new investment will be able to remove some of the technical problems we face. Uh, whether it's an aging system, an obsolete system or a worn out system, uh, it has been serving us for a long time. So such a replacement we hope will minimize any potential downtime, uh, give us a greater confidence that uh, you will be able to operate efficiently, uh, have less breakdown. Besides the re-signaling project, improvements are also being made on other fronts. More new trains are being brought in to help cope with the new signaling capabilities on the north-south and east-west lines. Sleepers which hold the tracks in place are also being replaced. Hopefully all these improvements can eventually contribute to a more reliable and pleasant experience for commuters.